G'day! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get into the BIOS or the UEFI on the ASUS VivoBook K352ZA. Well, how I typically get in there? Well, probably one of the easiest ways if we go here and go to Reset. And then from here, we want to go to Advanced Startup. So if we tap, click on, so basically go Start, Settings. The easiest way is to type it in. Or I usually go via Reset, Reset this PC, and Advanced Setup. Go Restart Now, click Restart Now. Your PC should restart. I'll try and reduce the glare. That is quite struggling right there. But once we get into the BIOS, you see that there's really not much there that can be adjusted, sadly. Right now we get the screen off. There we go, back on. Please wait. Then from here, select your language. Troubleshoot and UEFI firmware settings. Yes, and restart. So I just hit enter twice there. And now we'll be getting into it. There we go. And we are there. Looking at it, we're at the dashboard. We can tell it to do a firmware update if there's one available. This is just the basic settings. I'll tell you fan speed, temperature, storage, resolution, so on. Over here we can disable various things, permission settings, which strangely won't load, system diagnostics, cloud recovery, which I'm definitely not familiar with that, nor do I really need to do that. If we go to advanced settings up the top over here, I'm curious to see, there we go, so we're BIOS version 307, advanced, Enable and disable various settings, function lock option if need be. Ooh, graphics allocation, 64 meg, dang. So network boot is disabled there. And the boot, fast boot's enabled, security. Password, password, secure boot, enabled. So really not too much there. I'm going to go save and exit, and I'll see you guys later. Or discard and exit. Bye. Discard. Okay.